Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's fur video. Go to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's fur video. So day 10 will take us to the 30th of July and we'll be able to extend that beyond that with the Exergy Affair. So you see I'm on Sobbles, they run two rounds a couple of weeks. Going to have a look at Surface V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets into the middle of August and I'll get on with that for you in a moment. Just say that first, a video sales, our 6M UK world forecast and we've also released the 5th autumn update as well so check out both of today's bits like share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content just show a word for dear matt for gals with it okay we're gonna start off with the latest info from earth from nordschool.net showing that the changes are afoot to the air mass low pressure edging closer from the Atlantic and started out to bring in a slightly fresher air mass from off the Atlantic. Many areas still quite humid and warm, however, it's going to take a day or two to push this uh, fresher air across the country, but it will eventually uh, make it as this trough of low comes meandering through. Central in temperature is sitting at 18.9, that's 2.9 degrees, above 61 to 90-90 average, and that is provisional to the 18th of July. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're at Birmingham today, where we wouldn't be looking at if we was live streaming this evening, which we won't be. Uh, so red light is a 30-year upper air temperature average for Birmingham. And uh, we're starting off close to average for the next uh, week or so. But it's going to be end of July into the beginning of August. There are signs of a bit of a warming trend there. And you'll notice the uh, thick green line, which is the GFS midnight operational run, is actually one of the warmest ensemble members and consistently so through that uh, week two period. So it may be a hint there of summer getting back on track into the beginning of August. Precipitation wise, well, there are going to be further showers to come over the next few days. Well, of course, thunderstorm did turn into a <laughs> proper letdown. Very sorry about that. I wasn't the only forecast to be caught up by that. Although, when I did the live stream on Wednesday, there weren't many people on it, but if there had been, uh, you would all have had a heads up that uh, the Cape was looking very poor for the weekend. So I was kind of in two minds about it when I was streaming. The models look pretty decent. You know, the high res uh, looked pretty decent for Storm. But when we drilled down into the Cape and lifted, it wasn't really there. So, um, now it just goes to show you, you've got to have everything come together, not only for snow, but also for thunderstorms. Well, anyway, beyond that, we're going to find uh, a drying trend, maybe into the final week or so, or final days of July. Could start getting a little bit more unsettled, perhaps, into early August. Temperature anomalies for the uh, next five days to the 25th, 25th of July. Above average in the north, but near north to slightly below, actually, in the south and southwest, which is a bit of a uh, change. And um, precipitation anomalies uh, up to the 27th of July, um, that's uh, next uh, week, uh, looking western average for northern and southeast regions, but, but a bit drier than average in the southwest. Turn to the 10 to 14 day temperature anomaly. There it goes a bit warmer in the south, nearer normal further north. And precipitation in the 10 to 16, most areas going drier than normal. Right, let's go, uh, let's start going through chart data then. Let's have the latest UK Met Euro run. It's looking for uh, midnight on Wednesday. No, still under a trough, still rather showery and a bit on the cool side then. But Thursday and Friday, you start to see the Azores high begin to extend in from the southwest. So that should begin to uh, turn things drier and warmer at the end of the week. That's how we're getting to next weekend. That's midnight next Sunday. As all side may be starting to strengthen, if anything, to our south and to the southwest. And then we've got the icon model looking like this. So the trough moves away midweek. Uh, Ridge starts trying to build from the uh, Azores does so to some degree, so the south should get quite a bit of dry, warm weather next weekend. Still looking a little bit showery though up in the north. This uh, sort of ridge here building through the Atlantic probably suggesting that beyond 180 hours into the closing days of July we see high pressure strengthening I would have thought. Let's see what KMA is doing. 
Uh, so, again, we are looking at rather westerly for the end of uh, next week and into next weekend as well. Heading up towards day 9 and 10, low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic, bringing showery dishes and maybe rich bills to the southwest again. So, mostly dry south, but could still be a little bit showery up in the north. But yeah, best midnight run, uh, looks like that. So, flat and westerly through into uh, next weekend for high pressure begins to try and strengthen uh, around next Sunday but the next low rolls in over top however after that high pressure makes it move so by day 10 the GFS midnight run actually has a back to high pressure that's 30th of July and it's getting summer back on track and then into early August where we've got a thundery low <laughs> moving up from the south but after uh, this weekend's let down. I think we'll just move on from that. <laughs> Leave it alone. But a bit of a hint of some fun to there into early August. And some quite hot weather as well, I think. GFS 6 there takes me trough away to the east uh, midweek. Then the ridge builds up for the Azores or attempts to. Takes a while. But again, similar trend with a GFS 6 there. High pressure extending up from the Azores, turning things drier. And warmer uh, as well. A really strengthening the high pressure into early August. So this is getting some back on track big time, actually, with the GFS 6. So 1,025 millibar high pressure right over the top of the country, drawing in that hot east to southeasterly wind. And very hot air sitting just to ourselves, as usual, over France, Spain, and Portugal. Perhaps hints of things going a bit funky there by the end of the GFS 6 head. Let's have a look at those upper air temperatures. So just about get a plus 20 Celsius run in the extreme southeastern corner. So summer definitely coming back with both of today's GFS runs. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. Drop a comment and let's know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell friends about Gareth Webby's. Go to subscribe to you. Thank you so much everyone uh, for doing that. About 60 subscribers will get us to uh, 20.5k. So you could give us up. That'd be awesome. Thank you so much everyone. Uh, right, GM again with those uh, northwest winds bring Cura. Showering conditions in for the middle part of next week. Then high pressure extends in from the Atlantic into next weekend, 26th, 27th of July. Uh, for the high pressure, sort of slips away to the west by day 10, uh, allowing him a slightly cooler and more showery sort of northwesterly type flow. And then the ECM looking like that, high pressure building to our south and southwest into uh, next weekend, that 26th, 27th of July. No, mostly dry and warm, very warm in the south, a little bit more showery up in the north. Uh, and then beyond that, well, mm, high pressure trying, isn't it, to uh, cling on. But actually, the uh, ECM turns quite unsettled. But yeah, this is Friday the 1st of August, very different to the GFS output today, dropping in this trough of low. Um, so uh, that's going to be a very cool and quite unsettled start to uh, August if that comes on. So you pay your money, you take your choice. It's all extended range. We've either got summer coming back big time with the GFS or, um, well, you know, looking at <laughs> looking to say it's a tad autumnal there uh, with the ECM. We'll see. Okay, this is my precipitation forecast based on my ECM run from Spreadshot.com. Further heavy showers today, 10 further heavy showers and uh, long spells rain. Maybe a bit of thunder to come today. Into uh, tonight uh, and tomorrow, further showers and further showery bursts continuing really all the way up towards the middle part of uh, next week. By the end of uh, next week, things are turning dry in the south, but still a bit on the unsettled side up in the north. And then day 10, uh, well, still some showery rain for Northern England, Scott, Northern Ireland. Rest of England, Wales, mostly dry. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. Gets us to the 30th of July. 25 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure southwest, low pressure to the north, northeast, looking rather uh, west, northwesterly there with the flow. But high pressure strengthening to the southwest. That does include patrol operation around 13 uh, with low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south, looking rather mixed and showering. And a further 13 building that high pressure to the west and to the southwest. And then to it time, these are the options that we've got. 
It will be getting us to the 4th of August. 16 members will be east on souls with lower pressure to the north, high pressure to the south, looking, for, looking rather flat and westerly. 16, building in high pressure quite strongly. That can be telling you much drier and warmer. 11, with low pressure to the east, high pressure to the west, wind coming in from a northwesterly direction. And uh, 8, with lower pressure to the south, higher pressure to the west, and also uh, to the north there. So a range of options at two weeks out. We might see summer coming back, but it's not... Well, it's not a, um, an assured or convincing uh, pattern or trend yet. We'll see. CFSB2, finally, these are 500 millibar height anomalies, and they're broken down into week periods. The first week period takes us from a 20th. <coughs> so, show you. One takes us from a 20th to 26th of July. So, uh, the next week, with high pressure to the west and also to the north, and slow pressure to the south. Still looking a bit mixed in the week here. Week two uh, is going to be the 27th of July to the 2nd of August. High pressure in the Atlantic, low pressure to the north, east. Looking rather west northwesterly. Week three <laughs> will be the third to the ninth of August. High pressure to the north and to the northwest then. So probably bring drier weather back, but uh, not a heat wave. Winds will be coming in from the east of the north east of that. And then uh, week four actually sides some northern blocking here, tenth to the sixteenth of August. High pressure sort of ridging from the Atlantic up towards Green Iceland and away to the east as well. Probably going to be a trough through here. I'll uh, put in a question mark. Um, could be quite mixed and probably not overly warm. Well, we'll see. That's a long way off. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to tell friends about guys when we get them to subscribe to you. Thank you so much, everyone, uh, for doing that. Tomorrow, I'm not sure if I'm 6 a.m. forecast, but I might take tonight off. I'm doing my last shift of the week uh, tonight, uh, today, well, this afternoon and this evening, at uh, Watford Gap. When I get home, I might just chill out and have the evening off. So, may not be a 6 a.m. forecast tomorrow. Do, do, do. <gasps> Gav, not doing a 6 a.m. forecast. Oh, my God. <laughs> what are you going to do? I don't know. We'll see. That may pop up in the morning, may not do, but there will be a 10 to 14 day uh, in any case. Well, yeah, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I'm off to work for second job. Uh, and for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.